Oh, thank you so much, Kelly. I've got Jeff Martin. He's going to go right to this issue about GLP-1. You are very upfront about the idea that there may not be nearly as much impact for diabetes and cardiovascular as people are thinking. Right. Well, well first of all, thanks for having me, Jim. It's great to be here. Uh, yeah, on the topic of GLP-1s, first of all, I said, look, these are an important new class of drugs for, for patients and having a big impact. But when it comes to the uh, other disease states and medical devices, we've done the work from an epide epidemiology standpoint, as well as looking at different scenarios of penetration of GLP-1s. And we just don't think, uh, we, don't, we feel strongly it's not going to affect our growth rates or our addressable market near term or long term. Now, it is true also, you talk about the gold standard, which is still built bariatric surgery for people who are very obese, which is where the comorbidities come from. Right, right. I mean, look, the, the areas that people question us about, about GLP-1s would be diabetes, bariatric surgery is one of those. And in the, in the, in, we've had a, a, it's a small portion of our business, a, a small slowdown there, but over time what we're hearing from bariatric surgeons is these GLP-1s are actually increasing our funnel as it brings, you know, very obese patients to make them less obese and safer for surgery. Well, let's talk about what I regard as almost the new Medtronic, because you're right. doing so many things. Uh, one of the uh, biggest sources of, uh, frankly, of fatality, of death, is hypertension. Right. And yet people have kind of forgotten about it, yet the drugs really don't work. People are kind of unaware about it, even though you get your blood pressure taken when you go to the doctor. You've got the first new thing that might right. be able to solve th this incredibly important disease. Right. Well, we're, the, we're really excited about this. It's been 15 years in the making. Uh, and a, a huge investment, uh, but we just got FDA approval for our Simplicity uh, system, which basically is a, a, a procedural-based uh, solution that lowers patients' hypertension, uh, and it lowers it. Uh, we've got data going out 10 years, uh, so it, 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 uh, it doesn't reverse, uh, and, there's no, and there's no, we've had no safety issues, and it's, it, we're seeing consistently lower blood pressure, about 10 millimeters of mercury, even a small, like, three or four uh, drop is, like, a 40% uh, decrease in stroke and heart attack. So this, we think, could be the biggest thing our company's ever done. I think this is fantastic because I've been waiting and waiting. You made an acquisition. Uh, but the fact is it's got a novel mechanism. Right. And that's what I think, uh, not a pill, but right. one time only. One time only, day procedure. Uh, I think, you know, physicians feel comfortable doing this. Uh, and, and the patients we've talked to, they... You know, they walk out of the hospital and they don't, they don't feel any pain. It's fantastic. Now, you also, you're a company that, frankly, had, had a good course, but now you're doing something uh, almost weekly today. Uh, your neurostimulator, this is something people have been wondering what can be done for Parkinson's long right. term. What can be done for uh, essential tremors? You've got something. Right. So we, look, look, for uh, deep brain stimulation uh, has been around for a while. We invented it. 20-some uh, years ago, uh, and what we're trying to do now is make this more of a mainstream therapy. The brain, as you know, Jim, is still a white space, and our latest system and the system that got approved today is just another version of our system that has sensing in it. So today, we have a commercially available product for Parkinson's and essential tremor that does, it it's, works magic for these patients, but in addition to that therapeutic effect, we are now recording signals in the brain, and we are going to learn so much about the brain. So just even just in late 2023, uh, in, in September or so, Nature, which is a very big uh, medical journal in our space up there with New England Journal of Medicine, said using our technology, uh, they've this one particular uh, a physician identified a biomarket for depression. I just got off the phone over holiday with a, an East Coast uh, university, and they're telling me they found a biomarker for addiction, all using our system that is recording signals in the brain, which, Jim, is very hard to do. It's taken us over a decade to figure this out, and we're the only ones that have it. Well, it's great because the brain, you're right, it's open. It's now, you're doing something right now with NVIDIA. Right. You're doing AI with NVIDIA, and it's very important for patients. Yeah, so look, I, in today's world, I think the, the amount of data you have is going to be your currency for innovation, right? There's lots of advances in biomedical engineering, but data is going to be how the ceiling. The more data we have, the better quality data we have, the more we're going to innovate. And so what we've done with NVIDIA, we've putting basically edge computers inside interventional suites and inside of surgery suites to uh, record everything that's going on there uh, and provide... Uh, in the moment, real-time uh, benefits, like in our colonoscopy business, uh, real-time AI processing right there on the edge to identify polyps. What we found in colonoscopy is a very mature segment that up to 50% of polyps are being missed. No one would have thought of that, and then the AI is finding it. And then where I'm really excited is in surgical suites. 
as we're trying to democratize good surgery, we're building the algorithms using these edge computers, and we'll eventually uh, deliver these into the OR that's providing, think about driver assist technology in the OR. We're not going to be replacing surgeons anytime soon, but we're going to make them better. And surgeons that are using this AI technology are going to be replacing surgeons that don't.